Hello, everyone. This is Kendall Croft with Knives in Contact. I wanted to follow up with the team regarding a specific message we were or, or topic we were talking about with uh, updating the stores and the groups of stores with the specific promo messaging and, and how we can do that within the Nice and Contact platform. Uh, there are multiple ways that we can actually uh, accomplish this, this routing capability or, or this messaging capability. We'll go through a couple of those today uh, through this quick little video. Uh, one major note on that is, is I know it was discussed a little bit uh, talking about the punch system that uh, you are, are putting into place. Uh, if ever possible, we do like to rely on a, on a CRM or other type of, of database where we can house some of that information. It just makes the, the, the management of that information and those changes a little bit more, uh, more easily handled. Uh, so that's where we would prefer to, to have some of that information uh, managed and handled. The Nice and Contact system, while not a, a database or a CRM, we do have some capabilities within the system that uh, we'll go through today. So uh, keep that in mind that, uh, that uh, again, there are multiple ways to, to accomplish this. Some ways may be better or, or easier for, for the team. Uh, so what I'm showing on the screen is Nice and Contact Studio. Uh, again, I know you've seen this a little bit, and so we've gone through Studio a little bit. Uh, what I'm showing on uh, my screen within Studio is a standard uh, call routing uh, call flow. Uh, so this is uh, maybe a typical type of flow that you may see within your environment. Uh, these uh, actions in the center are called snippets. And the snippet action, I know that uh, Tyler had mentioned this a little bit to you on the, on the previous, um, uh, previous demo that you had gone through. But the snippet action is where we can do some custom coding and where we can do a little bit of, of, of management of some of the stores. So uh, let me open up uh, one of these snippets and we can get into the actual uh, file itself. Bear with me one second while I get that open. So within the snippet, you see, I'm, again, I'm doing the custom coding. Uh, I've just got it limited just to 10 for the proof of concept. Uh, so you'll see there, I have the different store phone number. Uh, I can put in some comments or some notes about what that store location is. And then I'm also uh, creating a separate listing of the different group. So this particular store, I'm going to say, uh, belongs to, to group four. Uh, this store belongs to group three and so forth. And so if you ever do need to make a change, you can easily come into this snippet, find the store that you need, and you can uh, update that, that uh, uh, store's group number. Uh, when uh, we recognize that a call is coming in, uh, based on that particular store number, uh, then we can do that lookup. We can find what to group that it pertains to. And then once we find the group that it pertains to, we can adjust the, the prompt messaging for that. So this is simply putting that into place and, and specifying uh, of the different groups that we have, what message do we want to change or, or, or display or, or play to that uh, to that caller. And again, this can be easily managed that uh, if uh, uh, a certain group has a different message that needs to be played. We can change the number here. Uh, you can choose how you want to record those different prompts. If you want to record those outside of the Nice and Contact platform and then upload those uh, to, uh, to our file database, or if you would like to record those messages right here within Studio as well, you have that option. But this is simply uh, giving you a way to change uh, the different promo uh, prompt that is going to be played to that group and being able to specify what group is going to be associated to each particular store. And then when you uh, make those changes, you can then again set that promo message. This is an example of what it could look like. Uh, just as an example, you could say the message is going to uh, refer, be referring back to that particular promo prompt a variable that was been set. And uh, we can record all of those within Studio or, or outside of Studio, but reference those here in Studio. And then we can play those those messages and make sure that uh, the customers are hearing the right uh, pieces of information. So that's one way to do it. Uh, it is a little bit of a manual process, uh, at least to to go in and, and update those different stores. Uh, the Nice and Contact team would be uh, working with you to do that initial setup of all of those stores, and also working with you to train you on the the details and, and some of that setup piece as well as doing that initial setup for you so that uh, you can see exactly how that could work and then down the road when you need to make changes you can uh, make those changes on your side if you're comfortable doing so or even rely back on the nice and contact team to make additional changes as necessary so that's one method that i wanted to go through uh, to show you how that uh, can be done
Another way we can do that uh, is back within our user hub application. Uh, I know we've spent some time talking about user hub and, and the capabilities in here, but this is going to be more of your web-based ma management portal uh, to be able to determine how you're going to set up your, your different um, skills or your agents and so forth. But within the user hub is where we also can set up what are called points of contact. Uh, the points of contact are going to be those ways that your customers can reach your contact center. Uh, so depending on how you have those uh, those points of contact set up, uh, if those points of contacts are, are referring to each individual uh, store, as an example, uh, when we set up that point of contact, then we can give that point of contact a specific name. Now, right now, it's just listed as, in this case, peak retail. Um, I could change that name, though, to have the group number in the in front of the name. So if I know that I need to uh, have this particular point of contact or this particular store uh, associated with a certain group, I could put that group number, two, one, two, three digits, however many digits in front of the actual name. And then back within Studio, when we're talking about the call routing, I can parse through the name of that particular uh, that particular point of contact, find the group right out of the name, and then that tells me exactly what promo message that I need to be using because, again, I can associate that promo message with that particular group. Okay, The management of the names of those points of contact can be done here in the user hub, so you can easily uh, adjust those names here. But within the uh, developer portal or utilizing our APIs, there is also the ability to update a point of contact with the name. So if you're looking to utilize a, a, an API call to be able to make those changes, you could utilize uh, the point of contact API to be able to get, get you access to that as well. So that's another way you can do it. The, the routing behind the scenes is gonna be the same. It's just going to be associating that group a little bit differently or through a different method, uh, associating that particular store ID or that store's name or that, that point of contact with, uh, uh, with that group through the API or through the point of contact name versus uh, versus through that studio scripting. So uh, again, those are a couple of different methods. Uh, we could brainstorm and we could work with the team to come up with other methods if neither of those methods are, are going to work with you. But but rest assured, the Nice and Contact platform is very flexible and has a lot of options available to it uh, and to you to be able to make those changes as, as you need to and be able to uh, ensure that the customers as they're calling in and trying to work with a specific store or reach a, a specific store that we can play the, the correct promo messaging. So uh, hopefully this video has been of help to you. If you have further questions or would like to explore either of these options further, or if you had a, a potentially another option, another thought that came to mind about uh, another way that you could potentially look to do that, uh, we'd happy, be happy to, to work with you further. And again, uh, get on another call and, and uh, hash some of that out. So uh, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Kendall Croft or work uh, directly with Serge uh, on this and, and we'll make sure that uh, we get everything, uh, all of your questions answered and make sure you're satisfied with everything. Thank you for your time.